Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio, Sinoland. Before we get started, this is a 2,500 word uh, uh, paper. I spent days working on it, uh, images, photographs, hyperlinks, references, uh, checking everything. Uh, it's been, it's taken me days to get, to do this. Uh, a minute, uh, several days to do this, which is why I haven't put anything out in about four or five days. So please, before you get started, go to PayPal, go to a fundraiser, go to Patreon and make a contribution to uh, all of my hard work to tell you the truth about what's really going on in the headlines. This one is especially true because you may not really like a lot of what some or a lot or all of what I have to tell you, but my job is to tell you the the truth as 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 I see it based on a lot of research and reading and and this one is very very disturbing and but we 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 we've, we've got to start talking about it and we we've, we've got to start doing something about it so i hope you will <coughs> watch listen and read to the end in quotation marks COVID-19, The Great Reset, end of quotation marks, is the book by World Economic Forum, which is often known as WEF, founder Klaus Schwab, that foretells your short and long-term future. Huxley and Orwell could have never imagined what's in store for Western countries. Time to wake up and smell our oligarchs' demented dystopia before it's too late. Pictured above my French village, Aromanche les Bains, on 30 November 2020. On the left, normally the D-Day Museum gets visitors year-round. It has been mothballed as part of France's fascist police state lockdown. Ditto all the restaurants and businesses alongside that habitually open on the weekends some year-round for the visiting tourists. On the right, the village's tourist bureau and busiest street. Not anymore. It's all part of the West's trillionaire human harvest. <clears throat> Here we go. I live in a little village, French village, on the coast of Normandy, Aromanche les Bains, watching it being raped and plundered by repressive, by repressive neoliberal austerity lockdowns. Everything is closed that is deemed, quote, non-essential, end of quote, except the bakery, the pharmacy, the superette, the tobacco shop, and you can call the doctor to arrange a visit. Across France, millions of small shopkeepers, restaurants, and services like barber shops, copy shops, that kind of stuff, uh, will be forced into bankruptcy and foreclosed on with the capitalist gangster banksters va vacuuming them up uh, all up for 10 centimes on the euro or 10 cents on the dollar. But that's the plan. This is intentional. It's the way it's meant to be. More on this later. The post office is open too, but the government just announced its closure <clears throat> for the sake of neoliberal austerity, again, to pay for lowering taxes on these same despotic dictators and to pay them the uncountable billions of interest-paying national debt <laughs> for all their wars and colonial occupations around the world. This, even though our little village receives 800,000 tourists a year, thanks to it being ground central for the 6 June 1944 D-Day landing. Incredibly, Aromanche's modest museum, pictured above, ranks in France's top 10 in number of annual visitors. It is, an, it is amazing. <laughs> There's not a lot there. Uh, they are going, they are supposed to be rebuilding, uh, but we'll see what happens now with the, 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 the lockdown. Citizens have launched a petition to stop the post office closing with little hope of succeeding since the gangster bankster oligarchs are a vampire squid sucking the life out of your Anglo, um, out of your, uh, your Anglo land with their imposed privatize everything European treaty. Please take 30 seconds and sign the petition. Hyperlink included. With the ongoing lockdown, if with 
the on low, ongoing lockdown if we, if I do not fill out a Ministry of Interior online slash mobile phone form to divulge my leaving the house for up to a maximum of one hour, including who I am, all of my national ID card details, where I live, the date and time of my sortie, with a limited number of acceptable reasons to go out, I can be fined 135 euros. Ditto if I don't wear a mask everywhere upon leaving. A man in Paris just stepped out of his music studio without a mask and was brutally beaten by three cops for violating this, quote, law. There's an image. Above is France's Ministry of Interior form to get permission to leave our houses. Marianne's Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. We can kiss those revolutionary ideals goodbye. It's now been reduced to capitalism's Orwellian doublespeak propaganda. After the image, last year I thought COVID was only a U.S. bioweapon <clears throat> attack on its enemies and continued to write a, and record a large library of work entitled, It's All Here, the China Rising Radio Sinoland COVID-19 Chemical and Bioweapon File, Film, and Tape Library. Yet, as the global capitalist fascist police state dug its boot heels into Western societies, I slowly realized it was much, much more. All of these dots are connected. Let's just put things in perspective. In 1919, 1920, exactly 100 years ago, after World War I, global population was 1.793 billion. Let's just round it up to 1.8 billion. World War I saw the slaughter of 40 million people. Right on its heels, the global, quote, Spanish, end of quote, which is actually a, a complete and total propaganda lie, because it, the flu, the Spanish flu, was in reality from Kansas, USA, killed another 50 to 100 million people. That's up to 140 million less people when the human population was only 1.8 billion people. Let's compare the real Kansas flu global pandemic 100 years ago to today's phony propagandized COVID pandemic. And there's a very nice table, which I will try to explain here. World War I and the Kansas flu decimated 6 to 7% of the world's people, yet global economies kept growing so fast over the next 10 years as to create the capitalist Great Depression bubble in 1929. This clearly proves that the intentional oligarchic deep state cratering of your Anglo lands economies is intentional and totally unnecessary. If you want modern proof, just look at China, which barely missed, missed a, a, an economic beat or socio, socioeconomic beat with COVID. 100 years ago, the Kansas flu killed 4.6% of the human population. Today's pandemic has supposedly killed 0.018% of us uh, among a global population being four times bigger. Friends, fans, and followers of China Rising Radio Sinoland, I humbly admit that it took me several months of painfully peeling the onion of truth. Nevertheless, or nonetheless, COVID is clearly a pandemic being used by the West 1% to drive the global 99% into bankruptcy, beggary, a panopticon nightmare of implanted biotracking chips and, quote, vaccine travel passes, end of quote, no different than World War II European Nazi ghettos. A 20th century Nazi European travel pass, right, what the oligarchs are COVID corralling us into for the 21st century, implanted biotracking chips. Same fascist, uh, same capitalist fascist control, different technology. Just as bad, the Bill Gates slash CDC slash WHO slash Big Pharma Western shots can easily contain eugenic, 
GMO slash pathogens to realize their 220 year Malthusian goal of reducing global population numbers down to the today's just needed slave servant serf level of 200 million out of now what 7.8 uh, 7 billion. They have already killed, maimed, and sterilized millions across the globe and are not to be trusted. No exaggeration, the last Western, quote, flu shot, flu vaccine, I got nearly killed me. So I'm off their hit list. My wife and I have already decided that if we are forced to get COVID vaccines, we will go to Russia or China to get ours, especially after what I learned about Western vaccines when I wrote the introductory chapter and read and read the whole book called When China Sneezes from the Coronavirus Lockdown to the Global Politico-Economic Crisis. It's frightening and sickening. This pandemic is not new, just the most audacious one in your Anglo land's capitalist history to harvest the human race of its assets and productivity. Starting in the 1500s, they were able to do it with colonialism, imperialism, slavery, and drugs across the world. By the 1860s, they were able to consolidate their power and wealth into massive family cartels, corporations, monopolies, and conglomerates, all hidden in shell companies slash blind trusts using secret offshore bank accounts by the thousands. This is how they can say they, quote, own nothing, end of quote, in their names. Their trillions are nowhere to be seen on the global and historical radar. However, Cynthia Chung's informative expose tells all. In truth, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, George Soros, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg are just the chicken shit centurion myrmidons, the public face of obscene wealth compared to the real owners of your Anglo land who are not billionaire, but trillionaire gangster bankster oil slash media and royal families who never get talked about because they own the West big lie propaganda machine, the big, the BLPM lock, stock and barrel. And then there's a chart that shows the media concentration of uh, uh, among the uh, among the various groups that I'm about to talk about. Beginning in the 1860s, the capitalist trillionaires began buying up newspapers, magazines, and of course later radio, TV, television, cable, and internet platforms. Not to mention millions of paid-for prostitutes in the interim. That's why it's called the BLPM. When you hear about the quote 200 families, it's not a conspiracy theory, nor are the Bilderberg Group, Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, World Economic Forum, again, the WEF, also known as Davos, <laughs> the Illuminati, and One World Government slash New World Order, oftentimes, uh, abbreviated OWG and NWO. And now the Great Reset. These are the dictatorial psychopathic cacocrats who are the puppeteers of the West Deep State. Wall Street slash London, CIA slash MI6, NATO and their BLPM to keep us all brainwashed and shadow back boxing the wrong targets like identity politics, Trump, Biden, Boris, Macron ad nauseum, while slowly turning the, quote, free world, end of quote, into a dystopian hellhole that would make George Orwell's 1984 and Aldous Huxley's A Brave New World look like child's play. COVID being used, COVID is being, is being used as the final solution it is simply the last, most daring, most desperate attempt to save global capitalism. Starting in the 1860s, these capitalist tyrants were able to plan, organize, and perpetrate about every 10 years what they like to call a human harvest, where they amass as much of the 99% assets as possible. To wit, and here's a list, 
250 years of global capitalist human harvesting. In the 1870s, U.S. Deep Depression. 1880s, U.S. Deep Depression. 1890s, U.S. Imperial Wars and Global Expansion. 1899, the British Boer War, which bankrupted Britain. 1908, the privatization of, of the gangster banksters' private police forces in the U.S. with the creation of the FBI. 1913, creation of U.S. Gangster Banksters Federal Reserve, plus that same year, the Rockefeller Foundation. 1914, Colonial Imperial Europe European slash U.S. World War I. 1921, creation of the Council of Foreign Relations. 1929, Global Great Depression. 1939, Colonial Imperial European slash U.S. World War II. 1944, World Bank created a cover for Western private banks. 1945, International Monetary Fund created a cover for Western private banks. 1946, U.S. military creates the, quote, non-military, end of quote, which is, still isn't, uh, Center for Disease Control, the CDC, still very much a part of the, uh, under the control of the, uh, of the Department of, of Defense or Destruction or Death or whatever you want to call it. 1947, creation of USCIA, NSC, NSA, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff. 1948, Rockefeller Foundation creates the, quote, international, again, end of quote, World Health Organization, the WHO. 1953, the Korean War. 1954, creation of the Bilderberg Group. 1959, the Southeast Asian War, or Vietnam War. 1971, creation of the World Economic Forum. 1972, U.S. leaves the gold standard and monetizes the dollar with OPEC oil. The next year, 1973, the OPEC oil crisis. The 1980s, wars in Latin America, Iraq, Iran, plus the looting of the U.S. savings and loan banks. 1986, the West rape and plunder of Libya. 1988, the harvesting of the Japanese economy and assets. 1990, Gulf War I with ongoing Western rape, plunder, and genocide in Iraq, plus Western rape and plunder of former USSR. 1997, harvesting Asian tiger economies and assets. 2000, the dot-com fraud bubble and crash. 2001, WTC false flag to start the project for the new American centuries, the PNAC, PNAC, neocon capitalist global wars, Western rape and plunder of Afghanistan, starting then, starting there. 2003, Gulf War II. 2008, the Wall Street fraud bubble and crash. 2010, Rockefeller Foundation's lockstep Global Viral Pandemic Plans are published. <clears throat> 2011, Western Rape and Plunder in Syria and Proxy Genocide in Yemen. 2017, the ramping up of U.S. financial fines, sanctions, embargoes, and blockades on many thousands of entities, including anti-global capitalist countries like China, Russia, DPRK, Iran, Venezuela, Cuba, Syria, Iraq, and many others. 2019, Gates slash Rockefeller slash CIA slash NATO conduct event, 20, event 201 just weeks before, quote, finding, end of quote, COVID in Wuhan, China, showing their, quote, hypothetical, end of quote, scenario of a global coronavirus pandemic starting, surprise, surprise, in China. Just three weeks later, 2020, COVID lockdowns across Uranglo land grow increasingly totalitarian, destroying millions of jobs, small, medium-sized businesses, while greatly expanding the fascist police state. 
And then my prediction for 2021, likely waves of COVID-21, COVID-22, COVID-23, with the Great Reset being launched across your Wrangler land using martial law, bank holidays, while drastically reducing slash shutting down the internet and resistant global media. All right. These are just the highlights. There are thousands of other incidents over the decades, ongoing as I write. Like Rockefeller's 2010 pandemic lockdown and 2019's Event 201, Western capitalist dictators use their BLPM to foreshadow upcoming crises so that when they launch them, we are not shocked or too surprised. We just internalize them. Then they even publish their game plan the month before uh, Wuhan, China, with a white paper called Resetting the Future of Work Agenda, Disruption and Renewal in a Post-COVID World by the WEF in, 20, in October of 2020, just at the same time as Event 201. Download it now before it gets censored, and I have it listed here. The COVID Great 19 reset is no different. The founder of the WEF, Klaus Schwab, even wrote a book by the same title, laying out your totalitarian dystopia for all to see. Here is the book, which was quickly pulled from the BLPM since it was too honest. <laughs> Download it here before it gets disappeared. At least read the executive summary to see how they are going to use the pandemic to crush your well-being, prosperity, and ways of life. The West tyrannical psychopathic dictators. In reality, your Anglo-land's real puppet masters hide in the dark, never to be seen. How many of you have heard of Lord Malik Brown and Maurice Strong? As explained by Matt Errett, and many others, they and many others are working towards creating your dystopian Hunger Games nightmare forever. This video below was posted on BitChute and la <laughs> lays out why the Western cacistocracy wants to bankrupt um, their citizenry to harvest your homes, businesses, commonwealth, parks, forests, etc., and jobs. After 500, after 500 years of getting obscenely rich off the colonialist genocide of the world's dreaded others, on top of 75 years of forced neocon structural adjust, readjustment, World Bank and IMF loans among these same peoples, capitalist imperialism is returning to Eurangloland to steal you blind. The rape and plunder of Greek and Iraq were just a warm-up. Welcome to the horror show, Washington, London, Paris, and Berlin. You'll soon be right there with Western Sahara, Liberia, Palestine, and Bangladesh. The West capitalist vultures have returned home to roost, feast, and gorge. On you. I saved this video since when the Great Reset comes, it, like, it, like most of the internet, will be deplatformed. And so there you can download the movie here, a little short clip. If millions of Westerners don't pierce the BLPM's brainwashing veil to see COVID for what it is, a battering ram to turn them into renting serfs, owning nothing, and begin to openly rebel against all the lockdowns, confinements, and social controls, we are headed for a future so dark, so evil, and so depraved that even the most demented lunatic science fiction writer slash movie director could not even dream up. I'm especially pondering generations of our children and grandchildren, and it scares me to death. And the fact that 98% of them don't see what's coming down the totalitarian pike, how to get them to see and resist before it's too late. And then I list about, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 or so articles for further reading on the COVID, uh, on the COVID Great Reset. Again, if you appreciate, or at least it's made you think about what, uh, 
what I just uh, told you, uh, if it makes you think about um, uh, your future, uh, please make a donation uh, via PayPal, Patreon, or um, I always forget the other one, fundraiser. Thank you.